Wanted to do another quick video on the OBD2 reader, uh, the wires I used to hook that up underneath the dash. Believe me, it's not as scary as it looks here. Uh, but I used this white with a black stripe, uh, the purple, I think it's a brown or a black stripe, I'm not 100% for certain, I can't remember. Uh, black with a tan stripe, uh, this pink with a blue stripe and then there was a, I think that's a solid green wire yeah solid green wire and they all came out of the basically what runs over from the computer there and I just instead of trimming anything out of the computer harness over to the power was the distribution mod center PMC anyway I just ran them directly right out of this here ran them up through the firewall I figured it didn't get any simpler than that. You do have to run a power wire out of that uh, reader too. This isn't the color of the wire, this is just what I used. Um, and it all worked. There was two wires I didn't hook up underneath. As you can see, it plugs in right here. Um, but yeah, I didn't use this. I spilled some paint on it, but uh, I think it was white. White and purple and black and with a green stripe or whatever color I didn't use two wires in it but when I fire it up it reads and I was I was pretty lucky when I uh, pulled this motor before I pulled it I fired it up and read the codes and there were no codes and when I fired it up after I got it all put in here the only code I had was transmission was either in park or neutral so like I said there wasn't, I was really surprised on how few wires it took to make this work. Anyway, there you go.